Hey YouTube, it's New Life for Jen or Jen. <clears throat> today is April 19th, 2012, and I'm making this video today. Um, there was two topics on the Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works channel. Um, I believe it was last week and this week that I, it kind of goes hand in hand for me. Um, one was the the biggest misconception that you had before you had weight loss surgery that more or less you came to grips with after you had surgery and body image issues. Um, first, let me say that I truly believe that when I chose Latband, it was going to be just the cure-all, fix-all way to fix my weight problem. Um, I had faith in it. Um, I let the band control my mental aspect of it. Um, I think I believed more in my band than my band believed in me. And how I want to explain that is, is the first, you know, six or seven months of my journey, I had restriction. And when I lost that restriction and I was pretty much on my own, I realized how much mental faith I had in my lap band. Um, I believed things to be true just because I had the lap band and I would not even go outside that box. I just said, nope, I have the lap band. I can't eat this. I can't do this. I won't do this. It's my rule. And when that restriction was taken away in November, I had to learn even more how to control um, my portions, um, my hunger, my choices of food. Um, so the last seven months, I've done a lot of this work myself. Um, I believe I was in the 160s when, um, in November when my, I had my unfill. And again, I had my unfill due to back problems. Um, when my back would spasm, um, my band would get really tight and I couldn't keep solid protein. I couldn't eat solid protein and then it was getting to the point where I couldn't even drink protein. So they did an unfill. <clears throat> and I, you know, did go back for a fill after that and I never got back to restriction. Um, and at this point my back is still not right. So I have not, you know, chased after getting to that again. I've just learned to more or less do these things without the band's help. But I put a lot of faith in the band, in the process, in the rules to keep me going. Um, so my big biggest misconception is just how much work this is, how much work it was going to be. It wasn't going to be you get this band and the weight just magically falls off. You know, there's rules, there's standards on how to how to chase after your weight loss journey. Um, so my that was my biggest misconception. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than what it has been. Um, and it's been hard and it's still hard now to maintain. It's, you know, hard every single food that I put in my mouth. Um, just because I had lap band, it did not fix my mindset of emotional stress, boredom eating. Um, you know, it, it fixed part of my appetite problem. Um, I have noticed that my appetite is kind of getting out of control again. Um, very much of an increased appetite. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking about a small fill just to keep it under control. Um, and I can't eat way more than a cup. I try not to. I try to always either weigh or portion out my food. Um, I will be doing a video update tomorrow on vacation and the experience of foods that I have not eaten in 13 months. And the reason why I did not eat them in 13 months is because I had it set in my head that I couldn't eat them because of my lap band, which probably this whole time I could have. I was just mentally set on not doing it. So that will be for tomorrow's video. And the body image issues. I have a lot of body image issues, more now than I ever did before. I always had issues before. You always felt like you were being looked at when you walked into a room because of how big you were. Um, uncomfortableness of sitting in certain areas just there were certain things I did not like to put myself in the position of having those issues I would just keep myself away um, getting your picture taken is a big one um, 
my body image issue before weight loss surgery, I didn't want my picture taken. I would avoid getting my picture taken. And if I would get my picture taken, it was from like here up. I wouldn't do full body pictures at all. So I don't have many of those. And the ones I do have were from family that had taken the pictures of me, not ones that I had purposely done myself. And after losing 130 pounds, I still have a lot of body image issues. Um, just got back from an amazing vacation, but don't think that every morning that when I got ready to go to whatever we were doing that day, I did not think about my skin, my excess skin issues, um, my thighs, my boobs, I mean just the whole thing. So have the issues went away? No. And I'm sure I will go through a whole new set of body image issues um, when I have plastic. So I guess it's just through both of these, they're just continually mental growth. Um, you have to learn to accept what you see back in the mirror and be proud and happy of what you've done. And I'm slowly getting there. Um, I work very hard at trying to keep my excess skin minimal um, with a strength and weight training. Um, I try not to go overboard because I don't want to be a bodybuilder muscle type. I just want tone. So the body image issues are there. They haven't went away. They've just changed. Um, they've changed in the aspect of excess skin instead of fat. So. Hopefully, after plastics, they will get better. I don't think it'll ever go away, just like my food addiction will never go away. Um, you just have to learn how to manage it. So, I just wanted to comment because I felt <clears throat> both of these were great, great questions and topics, and I feel that everybody on the Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works channel did a great job with their responses and answers to them and this was just a little bit of my take on it and I will see you guys tomorrow with my update and you guys have a good week. Talk to you later. Bye.